I can drive all over the place, I can move the cather in and out, and I can rotate my map all with a single hand. All that took was one little click of a mouse wheel to move myself up two millimeters, okay? And I guess I would challenge anybody to try and do that reliably with their hands in a stiff manual catheter. Using the cardio drive with this keyboard, turning the vector with this mouse, and then taking the points with my, my foot. So I'm calling this four-wheel drive, and it works nicely. It's really this uh, continuous tissue contact that's the key. The immediacy of response is really remarkable. Super real time, right? I mean, it's absolutely real time movement. When Hanno is doing doing the mapping here and turning the vector, the catheter is really moving immediately to the same same direction as as the vector is turned. It. We have had the Genesis system now for a few months, and it's been working extremely well. If, if new installation is done, I think it's a beneficial also that these magnets are much lighter than the old ones. The project actually came in on time and under budget uh, and has really been a, a tremendous success uh, from a, a technical point of view that way as far as being able to put together the package for you know a single you know lower price it makes it more accessible hopefully to other other areas. I remember some of them struggling so much with them when I did them manually and then after we did them with stereotaxis, I walked away telling Pete I feel like I just cheated. <laughs> this was uh, this was too easy. Would you do congenital patients uh, manually in the future? If I, I have the choice, I can select, I will do it always with the stereotaxis. This is a time in our in our world where automation and robotics continue to take precedence in so many areas of our lives, including in medicine, right? And so uh, I think it's just our time.